this is Fetch for Cray Metal TV and we're at Bloodstock Festival 2011. I'm here with Hellish Alcast. How are we doing? Very good. Very good. When did you guys get here? Friday. We came here on Friday, so we've been here, had the whole experience. Been partying hard since Friday? Yes, absolutely. Yeah. Any favourite bands you've seen? Exodus. Just earlier. Special, my favorite band. So, I've just been out to catch at the gates and uh, I had to come back to work again. Shame, man. Huh? <laughs> it's a shame. <laughs> it's got to be done. Um, now, you guys have just signed with Transcend Records, yeah? Yes. Um, we know Rob really well. How, how did you, how did that come about? I have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> you don't know. Uh, we have some friends here in the UK and I've been uh, talking to Russ Russell for quite a couple of years now just to try to do some work, trying to have him produce something for Hellish Outcast. Everybody wants to work with Russ right now, don't they? So, really, really big name. Uh, it's good. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. The meaning was he should mix the album. Uh, but uh, he was working with Dimmer, so uh, it took, we had to wait eight months for him. Months waiting list? Yeah. yeah. So, uh, it's always a good sign. Yeah. yeah. But it, it, he's, he's actually blaming us, or me, for not replying his emails because he really wants to work with Hellish Outcast. But now uh, the next album, maybe. Well, anyway, through him and friends of mutual friends, uh, we got in contact with Rob. Magic happened and it's been done. Yeah, it's good. Very good label. And, um, and I know you guys have done quite serious subjects and lyrically. And, you know, and um, how was the media response? Do you feel does it help you or not help you? Well, I think. Um it's a pretty uh, underground genre, it, it's pretty narrow and especially in Norway which is such a small country we haven't really been abroad and be able to play for uh, that many people so uh, it's been a little bit difficult, not a lot of people want to write about us and uh, abroad also people are looking for the black metal stuff from Norway so uh, we're kind of, uh, we've been struggling a bit but now it seems to be working out a lot more. Say it's a specialty, there's not a lot of it and um, so it's a small market but it's a good market. So. Yeah and it's also like right now with all things happening in the world like you're you have riots in Norway there was a terrorist attack and it's our our uh, like lyrics are about that how fucked up the world is so express it through your songs you know that's it. yeah 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 we were just talking to um 1349 earlier about because yeah. they're from there uh, about they were pretty close to the to the blast and they didn't yeah. know what the hell was happening when it went off it was pretty scary you know, to have that happening on your home ground you know so, yeah he, he, he lives i live there I didn't hear. Yeah, yeah. I didn't hear the actual rumbling. I was on my way to a friend's house, but uh, immediately people started phoning me up and saying, "Are you all right? What's happening?" I was like, "I don't know. Something really weird is going on." And actually, because you know, now for us, we don't live in Oslo, so we watched all this on TV, the media, yeah. and we've seen the riots. Uh, here in the UK, just now. What's your view on that? That's fuck, you know, we couldn't believe that even took place here. You know, and I don't even know if it's still going on because we've been here for like four days. <laughs> I think, I, I think, I've, the first song from Your God Will Bleed, our next album, yeah. it's all about that. It's called The View So Disgusting, yeah. and that's actually from all the impressions you get from the world through the, you know, the TV and news and media and uh, it's just horrible because we can't we can't do anything about it because you sit there and uh, sometimes I just feel paralyzed it's, uh, what can you do so and we try really to frustrating and you, know, you get you can get so angry as you just want to be so you want but you can't do anything about it it's just going to happen anyway. the feeling of helplessness and uh, when everything's going around uh, it's pretty one thing that the world is truly a fucked up place these days isn't it yeah, yeah exactly but, but we can we can go out there we can do this uh, play our shows and and talk about you know, the lyrical concepts in our music and we get people to uh, yeah. release their valves and blow off some steam it's also, and, yeah, it's also nice to see bands that are willing to express themselves to you know through by crossing certain lines you know that a lot of bands wouldn't so it's nice to see it well. it's a really personal band and uh, really personal music to us and now with the, with the riots going on in the uk you still have you have football shows cancelling all over the country but still, you, you can have, I don't know, like a 12, 15, 18,000 people, metalheads, 
this here, there's no problem. Yeah. This goes to show you one thing, isn't it? Yeah. With different people. Yeah, That's we what are. we're all about. We yeah. But, uh, you know, we're not poli politically active. But uh, this is probably the only thing that pisses us off is see, seeing all that bullshit. It's so just it's stupid. It's not uh, right or wrong. No. <laughs> uh, yeah. yeah. So we just say in a very extreme way in, in our lyrics. Keep at it, man. You know, express yourselves. That's what it's about. Don't hide it. That's Some people will say, uh, you know, our EP was uh, <laughs> called Raping, Killing, Murder. And this I, I do remember that. Yeah. 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 And uh, everybody's like, <laughs> But uh, yeah. What, what are we what doing the to the world? We're raping it. You're fucking writing songs, mate. You're not, you're not the ones causing damage, are we? So, yeah. I mean, you've played, you know, you've been invited to play here. It's a great honor. Especially here, for the. Sophie stage, which oh, is God, yeah, great which is like it. perfect for us. Yeah. Yeah. We it was here at three just a few days ago. And the yeah, reason so. for a Sophie stage. Then again, it can reflect it in our lyrics very well. It's really it's related to us. It was a perfect stage. That's what we're trying to do: support individuality exactly. and you know. Definitely. So, what's next for you guys after this? You know. Well, we have the the release, obviously on uh, Transcend. Yeah. Very soon. And uh, hopefully some touring, yeah. hopefully here in the UK. I mean, obviously you've got to come back, support the new record. So yeah, yeah, yeah. we're having, back, you know? having a great time here. So we really want to come back. So we uh, we have to make that happen. Here is always, always fucking amazing. So I, I love playing in the UK. Especially like. Uh, it's not an underground festival, but it is to a degree. Well, it's, it's a bit yeah. underground because you don't have the, yeah. the like the biggest bands. You just have yeah. bands then for you everybody. Have bands like yourselves on, on a major festival, so it's a great, great place yeah, to be. Yeah. You know, it is. That's it. And um, you know, best of luck with the album and the release from Transcend. And uh, Thank you very much. pleasure to meet you guys. Yeah. Thank yeah. you for your time. Thanks, man. Excellent. Awesome. Nice one, man. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you.